Hey guys, Chris here again with Project Nerf, and today we're going to take a look at a great product that we grabbed from Michael at Speed Foam Mods. Let's take a look. I got clips on clips on clips. Ha! I got clips on clips on clips. Ha! I got clips on clips on clips. Alright, uh, the product that I want to talk about today is this great 3D printed double mag carrier. Okay, and you can see it's got a very wide uh, belt loop system on here. Very, very sturdy. Don't know how well you can see it on the camera there. Hopefully we got good lighting. Um, really printed, very, very nice. So we've got a variety of mags back here behind me. Uh, I'm going to grab a few of them, uh, talk about the fitment, and uh, just uh, generally how well the product works. Let's get to it. All right. So first we've got an old school uh, six clip here. All right. Friction fits. Everything in here. There's nothing, uh, no clips or locks, anything. There's a 12 stick. And you can see the guys, those are in there very, very good. Um, and yet, does not require a definitive yank to pull them out. It's not going to drop them, but you can get them back out of there pretty easy. Uh, we noticed in our testing that the clear uh, Rapid Strike mags have a very, uh, very, very snug fit. Again, they require a pretty positive yank, but they fit well. And uh, it's definitely not dropping that. You can do some serious hardcore parkour, and these things are not going anywhere. Um, even. My personal favorite arrangement, 25 round drum. I was carrying two of them early, in an earlier battle. And you can see, didn't move at all. Still butted up right to the line there. Um, for you guys that are Busby enthusiasts, a Busby 20 fits beautiful. Not going anywhere. Actually, just feels really, really nice. Um, now, we did notice that on the older magazines, if you're like us and have a bunch of the old Stampede mags laying around, um, that the fit's much looser, okay, and it will drop these. Okay, it doesn't hold on to those so great. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, they're specced a little bit differently. They're a little bit looser uh, as far as tolerance goes, so it wouldn't fit any of the modern mags that would fit this tightly. However, this one, the exact same mag area, all we've done, uh, hopefully you can see it. Seem to be missing one, but that's okay. I've uh, placed some electrical tape around to the inside, just wrapped it on the outside of this. Okay, and it makes all the difference in the world. Exact same carrier. This is two cents worth of electrical tape, so if you've got old school stampede mags, you can set it up to carry those too. You're not going to use them. Take the tape off, run your in strike stuff. Uh, we tested this pretty vigorously. We were out battling with them a little bit earlier today, a couple hours were probably. Uh, and we've got just a few few seconds of uh, video footage for you, a little uh, running, jumping, leaping, kind of hitting some knees, having a good time, not a mag dropped, everything performed great. So we're going to cut away to that video footage, and we'll be right back. Probably too high mood. Don't be clocking the G. So many O's on the check. I ain't talking free. Gotta earn your respect, which you won't do. Huh? More drama, so I loaded up the whole crew. Here, fuck you. Be more niggas fighting with the cops and the block. Damn, let alone setting up shop. Come on. Better own four or five glocks. Woo. Fucking with them ops when it's hot, man. You finna get mopped. Huh? Huh? I got clips on clips on clips. Yeah. I got clips on clips on clips. Yeah. I got clips on clips on clips. Come on. I got clips on clips on clips. Everybody wanna play macho. Yeah. Everybody wanna be killers. Nope. Hey, I'm chilling on the top floor. Uh -huh. Coop ain't got no ceiling. Ha. I got clips on clips on clips. Woo. I got clips. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Watching Jay and I run around and test these things out. Uh, you can see several different reloads there. Uh, we tested pretty much every kind of mag that you can put in this. Uh, sixes, tens, twelves, eighteens, new generation, old generation, um, even 25 round drums, and did not have a dropped magazine all day. Uh, so, you know, ultimately, um, the product works very, very well. We were very impressed with it. It's robust. Uh, it got fallen and landed on, and it's still perfectly in one piece. Uh, it's designed well, and one of the big things about this, guys, is the price point. $13.99 US with free shipping out of Michael's Etsy shop, and that's Speed Foam Mods. Of course, we'll put the link to that shop in the description box below. You guys definitely want to check Michael out. Um, there are other 3D printed mag carriers out there, double mag carriers, that are more than twice the money. 
And they're a great product. I'm not saying they're not, but they're twice the money. So huge selling point. You get a quality product at less than half the price. Why would you want to buy from anybody else? That's my thought on the matter. Um, we love them. Uh, we're definitely going to grab some more. Michael, great job with it. And a special thanks to him. Told Mike that we were doing the review. And he sent us out the prototype uh, for his version 2 model. Now you can see there's a lot of space removed here. That does a couple of things. Uh, it lightens it up a bit. Not that it's a heavy product. Um, actually makes it a little, little flexible if you would. Uh, so everything seems to feed just a little bit smoother. The hold is equally as good. And uh, you know, honestly, also just style points. That thing looks cool. Um, Questions that I knew that you guys would ask me, I got with Michael, and he answered several of them. Um, uh, currently, these are available in black and white. Um, he is planning on doing a setup for Male, so if you want to connect it to your Male gear, you're going to be able to do that in the very near future. Uh, the V2, like this one, uh, he's going to have ready to market here very, very soon, uh, so definitely keep a lookout for that. Um, but Michael, the V2 tested out just as well as the Virgin Ones, so we're, we're super, super pleased about that. And thank you so much for sending us a prototype product. This is our first prototype. Uh, so very, very special moment for Project Nerf. We really, really appreciate that, Michael. Thanks so much. So guys, definitely check out Michael at Speed Foam Mods. Again, the link's in the description box below. And a special thanks uh, to my good friend Trey Harris for providing the background track, the music for this video. Um, I've also put a link where you can find some of Trey's music. Check him out. Good friend of mine. Trey, thanks so much, buddy. Guys, till next time, this is Chris for Project Nerf saying have a blast.